सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम सो दिस इज गोइंग टू योर फर्स्ट हैंड सोन वीडियो फॉर कॉम्पिटिया सर्वर प्लस सर्टिफिकेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर टू एक्सरसाइजेज विच इंक्लूड द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ विंडोज सर्वर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू और टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो इन द स्टडी गाइड दे आर मैंशनिंग दैट विंडोज सर्वर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन विल भी यूज बट नव डेज विंडोज सर्वर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इज अवेलेबल विच इज द लेटेस्ट वन सो वी विल यूज द लेटेस्ट वन सो ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी दैट इन द कमिंग वीडियोज वी विल कॉन्फिगर रेड सेटिंग एज वेल रेड कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो वी विल नीड फोर हार्ड ड्राइव्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल क्रिएट अ वर्चुअल मशीन एंड देन वी विल क्रिएट फोर हार्ड ड्राइव्स इन इट and then if you see here you can see that they are mentioning that we have four hard drives of 60 gigabytes each so when, once we create these hard drives and we create our virtual machine then we will need an iso file that will be the windows server 2022 so this iso file will be used to start the installation process of windows server and if you see on the screen there are steps mentioned one by one so you can follow these steps or you can follow the video itself to install windows server 2022 and here they are mentioning that we have four hard drives of 60 gigabytes each which we will use them to configure raid configuration later and then we have another exercise that we can follow so let's start uh, so first we will need to download the iso file for windows server 2022 so i'm searching here windows server 2022 and if you go to the second link which is microsoft evaluation center you will see download the iso link so click on this link and you will see a screen like this so you have to register here for the trial version so you can write the details of your company or if you don't have a company you can use your personal details and uh, you can see here that the file size is 4.69 gigabytes and i have downloaded it so let's go to vmware workstation pro 17 so let's see the first step that we have to do so here if you see we have to create a virtual machine configuration that will be used to install windows server so it will include the ram size memory cpu and everything and uh, as you can see that we will need four hard drives to configure raid as well so click on create a virtual machine and we go with custom so these are the custom settings that we will follow and uh, here you can see that i will install the operating system later and we select microsoft windows and here if you see in the latest vmware you will find windows server 2022 i click on this and uh, we go next then you can rename it here and uh, we'll use uefi bios and here i'm giving it four number of processors and two core per processor so it will be four core eight threads and memory i am using 6.6 gigabytes approx 6.2 and the reason behind this is let me show you so if i go to task manager here you can see that i have 24 gigabytes memory available so i'm using 6.2 something which will be enough for the windows server 2022 so you can see on the top that i have 24.0 gigabytes so let's minimize and i'm using 6.2 so it depends on your pc how much memory you have here we will use network address translation which will give the ethernet connection from our host pc to the virtual machine so that we can use internet we go next and input output controller will be lsi logic sas because the other ones are not supported and disk type will be nvme sst and then we create a new virtual hard disk and now we have to give it a capacity how much hard drive we want so here uh, by default it's 60 but i'm using 35.0 because of my memory because i have 256 gigabytes only so i'm using 35.0 for one and here we split virtual disk files into mul multiple files and this we can leave as it is next and finish so our first virtual machine is created but we don't have the iso file yet so here if you see that uh, we will uh, configure raid settings later so we have to create another three hard drives so that we can use them for raid configuration so here you can see we want our server to have four hard drives so we go one uh, and we do one thing we click on edit virtual machine and we go to hard drives and here you can see that we have 35 gigabytes we click on add hard disk next and uh, same nvme and create a virtual disk and here uh, i will put 35.0 again and we click next finish so now if you see here we have two hard drives now and uh, we we do the same process for another hard drive and we we make them four so 30 35.0 next finish we have three and i do another one so here you can see so now we will have four hard drives and i will show you where we, um, we will see them so if i click okay you can see here that we have four hard drives and we can press okay so now our hard drives are ready so the next step is 
repeat step 8 to 11 to create four hard drives so our first exercise is finished this is the our first exercise which includes the configuration of vmware and virtual machine and now we have to install windows server so for this we need the iso file that we have downloaded so it's on my desktop so i go edit virtual machine setting again and now we go to cd dvd and here it should be connect at power on it should be switched on and now we use an iso image browse and we will select the iso file that we have downloaded which is the windows server 2022 so uh, click on open and it will be booted or mounted here so it should be switched on with power so i click ok and now we have to uh, switch on our virtual machine power on this virtual machine so i click on power on this virtual machine and we have to use standard evaluation desktop experience uh, you have to remember it which one they are uh, mentioning so we'll use this one and i power on the virtual machine I press OK. So now our virtual machine is booting. So press any key to boot from CD DVD and the installation process has started now. So uh, let me make full screen mode. And here you can see that the installation process has started. So you have to wait now for some time until you see something. So here you can see that it is the initial setup. So we click, uh, we select the language, whichever you want. And then we click on install now and here we have to select standard evaluation desktop experience we click, click on next we accept the terms after it okay we accept the term and we click next custom install and here you can see that we have created four hard drives of 35 gigabytes each so to install we will create new apply okay and now we can use this disk to install our windows server in this one so now this process will take some time around 5 to 10 minutes it depends on the speed of your pc and the processor type everything so uh, it will start the installation of the files now so it's one percent and uh, i will skip the process and uh, i will continue it when it is almost finished so you can see here it's 48 percent now so if this video is informative for you you can hit the like and subscribe button because in future you will find more videos related to CompTIA Server Plus and other certification. So now you can see that the installation is almost done. So it's completed and now it will ask you to restart your PC. So it will be done automatically in VMware you just need to pr press the restart now button or it will take around 10 seconds to restart automatically. So let me show you. So here you can see after 10 seconds it will restart automatically but you can click on restart now as well. Now our virtual machine will restart. So it's loading. And now here you can see that uh, again it's blinking and it will show you that it is installing some services and everything starting services getting device ready and now it's getting ready restarting again so here you can see that it's restarting now so after this we have to set our password and everything so let's see what it will ask for So now it's asking for a password so you just need to put a password which includes uppercase lowercase and some symbols so it should be strong enough so after you put your password click on finish and here you have to press alt ctrl and delete so after you press you have to put your password it will ask for it so now it will create our user profile and it will make the environment ready for us and here you can see that we are logged in now and the server manager has started automatically so here we will press yes to use the internet connection from our host machine and here so let's uh, have a look at the next step that we have to follow and if you look at my uses here you can see that uh, out of 24 gigabytes my memory is used around 12.6 gigabytes so i have 50 percent of my memory available so it will give you an idea of how much resources the windows server 2022 is consuming so our next step is to disable server manager to be started automatically 
so here you can see step 14 so this we have finished till 13th now our 14th step is to disable server manager to start automatically so let's see so this is the home page of server manager and here you can see all of the options and you will see manage option here and we go server manager properties so inside this one you will see that do not start server manager automatically at login we click on it and we press ok so now our server manager will not start automatically so this was the main exercise that we needed to complete so before i finish this video i want to show you something else as well as i told you in the starting that i am using 35 gigabytes of ssd so the reason behind this was if i go to this pc here you can see that out of 35 i have just consumed 11 gigabytes of space so i still have 24 gigabytes of space left so you can uh, take around 20 gigabytes as well if you don't have much space or if you are running low on space so you can use around 20 gigabytes of space which would be enough at starting but uh, i will suggest you to take around 35 gigabytes because in the future when you do configurations in this it will take more space and it will consume your hard drive so it's better to have extra space so now we can switch off our virtual machine so we go to power so it's a little bit different for windows server so it will ask for the reason why are you switching off the server so i hope you have liked this video if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and i will meet you with a new video which will be the new exercises for the CompTIA server plus certification so that's it for today